And... No! A duplicate! Dang it! No! No! What's up guys and welcome back to another epic unboxing. In this video, we got of course the Great Tins of 2024. And that of course is the Dueling Mirrors that I got shown right here. And yes, what a beautiful tin this is. Gorgeous tin. Gorgeous tin. But of course, we'll talk a little bit more about this tin in a moment with the high values as well as everything else. And also what you might have noticed is I got a new background. And yes, I love it. This is actually uh, something I got from Ruxin34. Um, and it was a promotion item for, of course, the tunes. Blue eyes and red eyes tunes. But of course, we care about the tin here. But yeah, guys, because we have so much greatness with these tins, I am actually doing a giveaway for this video. And all you need to do, guys, is like this video, subscribe, and leave a comment down below who's your favorite, Seto Kaiba or Yami Yugi. And one lucky winner would win one of these tins. As with any opening that we do here, this, of course, will be a versus, of course, with this tin and, of course, last year's tin. So definitely stay tuned for that for a future video. All right, guys, enough rambling. Let's talk about some of the high value pulls from this. Now, the prices have depreciated quite a bit because there's a few cards that were saying that was over $100, but uh, of course, that dramatically decreased after the pre orders um, and of course, after the uh, initial release. The number one high value pull is that SP Little Knight going at a price of $39 and 87 cents as of this recording session of course price will always change every single day the second highest being the triple tactics thrust at 27 dollars and 76 cents the third highest being that supposedly a hundred dollar card at one point but it was a dark edition girl alternative art currently now at 26 dollars and 71 cents and if you bought this card at 100 dollars plus uh, yeah, you got a little bit ripped off there. I'm sorry. And, and just for last as well, there is actually another Dolph Edition Girl card, and that one is $25.18. This, of course, is the Dueling Mirrors. And since we're still here, this, of course, is yet another 25th anniversary tin. According to the website here, it mirrors back to back Yami Yugi and Seto Kaiba stands like giants over a series of iconic monsters from the Yu Gi Oh! anime series. Of course, it says here this year's best of 10 picks pulls together from popular and sought after cards from dozen of recent booster sets to include Power of the Elements, uh, Poton, um, Hypernova, Cyberstorm Asset Access. Uh, Duelist Nexus, Age of Overlord, Maze of Memories, Maze of Defenders, Wild Survivors, and more. Now, they say popular. Some of those are not very popular, but that's besides the point. And of course, features some brand new artwork featuring some of the most famous cards. That, of course, is the Red Eyes, Black Dragon, and Dark Mission Girl, to the Harpies, Feather Duster, and even Raigeki. I seen the Raigeki one. I'm not a fan, though, to be honest. And to top it all off, guys, we got 50 quarter century secret rares in this set now with any tin as well this is a massive set we're talking 400 card sets and of course only like a handful of them is actually worth decent money at least right now you know what i mean anyway guys enough rambling we've been talking way too much about it and of it let's go open it right now all right guys hopefully my new uh mat here gives, gives us some good luck but um let's uh Let's take a look around the, the, the thing here real quick. Obviously, first edition as you would. Now, what's crazy about it, 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 it includes three different mega packs. And that, of course, is, uh, and each of these mega packs has one quarter century. So it's, it's pretty intense. It says it right there, per 10, three, three, and nine, and 24. So guaranteed. And now I've got the new, this new camera set up. Uh, there's no way I can actually hit my camera. So I'm definitely loving my new setup, guys. Definitely love my new setup. But yeah, this is actually a very pretty box. I, 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 I'm, I'm a fan. I'm actually a fan of this box. It's probably one of the better uh, um, tins in a while. Now, granted, we had those golden tins for so long. So maybe I'm like, finally, something different. 
Last year was kind of like a like a ooh, that, that's different. Not, no, no more quarter, no more uh, gold cards. So it was kind of a throw off. But now that we kind of got that, I guess, off our system, like seeing something like this actually looks very pretty. Looks very pretty. Oh, now, now we have the sleeves off. Now you can really see Seto Kaiba and Yami Yugi. I like this box a lot. <laughs> Who's a fan of this, uh, uh, sorry, this box, this tin? Who's a fan of this tin? This is actually a really good tin. I don't know. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. All right. The one thing I'm not a fan of, though, is how plain this booster uh, pack is. It's a plain silver. This I'm not a fan of. I'm, like, they could have, like, had some kind of design on it, but they just kept it gray. And of course, as we always do, check it inside. Maybe they put something cool in there, like a die or, I don't know, extra packs someone forgot to sneak in there. Oh yeah, I'm a fan of this, uh, I, really, I, I really am. All right guys, we have the three packs, the mega packs right here. Now the one thing I will say as well, like there's no like extra card. You know how like, in la last year's set they had that extra uh, promo card? Or, or whatever, we don't get that. It's like, can I say like getting, uh, like, what, what I noticed is that they're getting like, they're putting less and less stuff in here. Like, you know, before we had a die, we had an extra promo card, we had a couple promo cards and we have the packs. Um, and now we just get packs, no promo, no die, no nothing. So that's kind of a con for me, but hopefully we get some good packs here and some good cards and bring out the nostalgia. But uh, I always try to keep it real with you guys as we open these. But yeah, without further ado, let's do this. Oh yeah. All right, I'm not sure what the, the pack trick is for this, so we're just gonna go right into it. We have the Click and Echo, the Sign at cir Circuit, the Numeron Creation, the Hydra Lander, um, I guess, Orbit. Got an Ultra Ray here of the Merry Milk. Of course, we're gonna have a, one of these Milky cards. We got a, is that a Secret? Yeah, Secret. So something that, that, that's that been happening, uh, at least from this set, from what I was told, is that there's actually some Error Secret cards. So, I, I'm not sure exactly what makes an error card. I think uh, because I normally the secret, secret rares are like diagonal, right? Normally, but it looks like it's kind of like sideways. I don't know. You, let, you guys let me know if I got an error one. This is our first quarter century. The Trickstar Light Sage. It's not Sage, Stage. If I can pronounce things. Uh, Pure Eep. The Gem Knight Quartz. The Akanto Dance, the New World Formation, the Exia Line, and the Double Dust Tornado Twins. So yes, check out this quarter century. Oh yeah, it's, it's really hard to see that one. Yeah, it's really hard to see that one. Can I get a good angle on it? Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to see the the 25th anniversary emblem. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I get some light in there. There we go. And a big question I want to say is like, uh, is, is it worth getting all 400 cards? I don't know. Like, obviously, if I have more of these tins, I'll, I'll get more. But yeah. But yeah, this card is only $3.57. So, I mean, it's still sleeve worthy. It's still sleeve worthy. Let's see how the prices go like a few weeks from now, basically. All right. Next pack. Mega pack. I think it's like maybe six or eight to the front, something like that. But yeah, we have the Battle Royal. We have the Battle Royal mode joining the Circles of the Fairies. Focus, focus, okay. Uh, the Teller, the Teller Knight Constral, Const Constral, <laughs> whatever. Uh, Dash Tier Big Bang. Oops. And the Tari, Tari, the Vanquish Soul Snow Devil, the Poton, um, Time Stop, 
and Timing Org, Sumanite, the Hydrolander Orbit, the Million Century Ice Prism. There's actually a lot of cards I'm not really like too familiar. Like I see, I think I seen this one, but there's a lot of cards I'm like not too familiar with. It, it probably was a feature in like previous sets and whatnot from like earlier generations, but yeah, I don't remember this one from, from a previous set. Rescue Ace Air, Air Lifter. The ooh, this is the new Rageki Secret Rare. I do like the way that the Secret Rares, rares look though, but I'm not sure why, like, if this classified as a, as a, as a I guess, as a error. I don't have to watch like uh, other people's videos and, and find out exactly what that means. But yes, the quarter century. Ooh, is the black wing dragon. That looks very pretty. Very much decent at four dollars and ninety nine cents for this one. Yeah, as, as I mentioned before, I'm not really a fan of the, of the Raigeki, the, the new one anyway. Like, the, the, there, there's uh, obviously this right here is supposed to be like uh, Cipher the Sky Dragon, and. All this time, I thought like you know, it's almost like a, a god or or another being. Obviously, it is a god card. So, but I, I thought it was like a different kind of god card that would actually use the card because it's a very powerful spell card. So, having Cypher Sky Dragon being that card, I don't know if I'm a fan of that. Let, let me know how you guys feel about the alternative art for Raigeki. Last pack from this first ten. So six to the front, it looks like. We have the Chaos Mirage Dragon, the TG Rocket Salamander. If you guys want to read the effect, you can definitely pause it and whatnot. Double hooking. The Origami Goddess. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. The Exia Lion saw that earlier. The Behemoth of the King of the Hundred Battles. Uh, Infinite Ant Lion. The Bio Insect Armor. The XC Intrust, the Matacore of Smashing, the Duelist Genesis, the Firewall Dragon Dark Fluid, the Neo Tempest Terror Hurts, and ooh, okay, what is this one? This is the I can't read it sometimes. Like, okay, the the Ultimaya Tazukin, Tazukin. I'm not sure who uh, who, who uses this. To be honest, like leave it, leave, leave it in the comments. Who's whose who's, uh, card is that? And I, now, granted, it's, it's based on all of the heroes, not just Seto Kaiba and Yugi. Like all of the, I guess, the main protagonists uh, from the Yugi series. So we are not familiar with this one. All right, not too crazy, but it is four dollars and eighteen cents for this one. You know, sometimes it looks better on that camera. I don't know why. But it's like the same exact camera. Like I have two of the same cameras, but sometimes it'll be better on this camera. I don't know why. All right, rolling into our next tin. Now, of course, guys, if you guys want to win your own tin, definitely hit that subscribe button, like this video, and leave a comment of who your favorite protagonist is. Now, it doesn't have to be Seto Kaiba or Yugi. I think I, I, think I mentioned in the intro, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, just who's your favorite protagonist and why? I'm just kidding, <laughs> you don't have to put a why. But you, you can if you want. It's like those like um, those essays in, in in high school or in, like school in general. It's like explain your answer and why. Like what like what like uh, why you like this character and why you know something like that. It's like I, I don't want to think critically. I like it because I like it. I don't I don't know why. I just do. I think the worst one is probably like like in, in I think in map class actually when they say explain your answer. How did you derive your answer? But I get why they do it. it like, but some people are just really good at math and they just can do it in their head and be like, hey, the answer is 15. But they just don't know why they got there. Just they just know it's 15, and they usually usually right. All right. Here we go. Let's see if my math is right. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. We got the Rescue Ace Headquarters. All right. Look at the blur. Why is it not unblurring? Okay, there we go. We got the Mystical Beast of the Forest. And the, the, the kitty. The kitty. The Circles of the Fairies. 
the Sarv Sar Sarga, the Big Bang, Taria, Tari, Bio Insect ar uh, Armor, Infinite, Infinite Ant, the Orbit, the Small Shuffle. That's a cute card. It's a very good card. First Ultra Rare here, or I think we had no, another one actually. The Super Heavy Samurai Motorbike. And our secret rare is the Kishira Rise Heart. And then, ooh, we got the right arm of the Forbidden One. Oh no! Does that mean we have all the exotic pieces to collect again? No! No! It's so hard to collect all the pieces. Oh my god. I don't see the head of Exodia. It's gotta be here though, because if, if all the other pieces are there, you gotta have the, uh, the head of Exodia. There's no head of Exodia? Am I <laughs> really? I'm, I'm confused. Whatever. Uh, anyway, we got we got the right arm, the forbidden one. Let's let's, let's check at this price. All right, this one is four dollars and ninety eight cents as of this recording session. So I didn't see it, like the actual head of Exodia. Am I? I don't know. Of course, uh, my, editor got, my, my editor Alexander got my, got my back on on that, but I don't see it on the. guide here but whatever we're gonna move it on move it on one two three four five eight six all right let's do this we got the blurriness fantastic the sentry ion bonds the poton em emperor The, uh, what is it called? The uh, Daybreak. The Couple of Aces. The Elude of the Branded. This card has been in every single pack so far. Uh, the Core of Chaos. The Shattered of Colorless Realm. The uh, Comet General. Numeron Creation. Emergency! And another Raigeki Secret. And... No! A duplicate! Dang it! No! No! That is not a duplicate you want to get for a quarter century. I could have got at least like the left arm or something. Oh my god. We already know the price for that one. I'm upset. I'm upset. Alright, anyway. Let's move on to the la the final pack of this. And it came, it came out of the same tin too. So like that's, that's really that's really messed up. Like you would think you'll eventually get a duplicate, maybe from a different tin, but not from the same exact tin. It's messed up. All right. Anyway, got the Gem Knight Lady Rose. That's a cute card. Well, I guess it's a uh, depends on your perspective. I guess. <laughs> um, got the Milfy Penny. The Gravity Ninja. Oops. The, the Constellation, uh, what's it called? Caddy? Caddisus? 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 And the Flower Buds. Okay. Oh my god. I'm <laughs> just throwing cards. Alright. The Scareclaw Defanging? I guess. I don't know. That word always. Gets me, I guess. The double headed Dino King Rex. Gigantic Thundercross. Supreme King Dragon Lightworm. Exian Trust. Ooh, the big back the the Sioux ships. Alright. Got the Runic Main Runic Main. That's cute. Cute. And Ooh, we have the, the Guilty Guilfrey, the mag Magical Steel Knight. Okay, got some Guilfrey supports. And finally, a new card. This one is only $3.99. So not crazy there. We, have, we haven't pulled any crazy quarter centuries yet. And what I mean by crazy is uh, above $10. But this is my final tin for today. Obviously, we have a bunch more of these from like a future versus. Like I, I want to do this one as well as last year's um, tin, as I mentioned. 
it might even do like a uh, like opening all tins so far for the past I don't know since I started making videos I guess and then some but yeah let's go ahead and crack this open oh. I definitely want to open more of it because these are really really fun to open even like a lot of people say oh yeah it's not really a great investment um, because a lot of these tins don't really hold much value because they're essentially a, a glorified glorified a glorified uh reprint set essentially and um but it, it's still fun to open you know what i mean okay, nothing inside can i double check all right guys final three packs let's do this Oh, uh, give me a good, 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 uh, good quarter century here. We have the instant contact, the rescue aid preventer, the over exaggeration, the fallen of the Argrio, uh, Argrio, Giros, 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 uh, Imperial Princess, Miri, uh, Meteor Rush, sorry, the Silver Wing Axe. The uh, branded in Central, <laughs> I want to say Central America for some reason. I don't know why. Numeron creation, S a shell of chaos. The Ginchiki uh, uh, grimness. Secret rare of the uh, uh, Tokusano Shun Gyojin. I think I pronounced it okay. And we have the Paroli Exceed. I mean, it's better than what we had so far, but it's only $4.09. And I got a lot more quarter centuries to go. Let's do this. All right, here we go. We got the Happy Guidance, of course. Earthbound, Servant Geo, Grinia, Lilia. The, the Mina, the Mina Eruga, I guess. The um, Ogidaka. <laughs> I pronounce these words sometimes. Daybreak. It's really late as well, so like uh, my pronunciation is is really crappy today. I do apologize for that. We have the brightest blazing Brandy King. The Aqua Chorus Round. It's a cute card. Cute artwork. Core of the Chaos. The Gestira Astra. Astra. The Mental Tuner. The Loga Samsara. The Teller Knight Altaran. The Fusion Ermint. And the Exe Dragon Cannon. Okay, this is a. I actually remember this one. I think, I think it was a Yubi card. Um, so, yeah, that's nice. All right, this one is not, not that great. It's an alternative art, which is why it's kind of cool looking. It's different from what I remember it to be. And that's why it's an alternative art. But it's only $2.83, so. All right, guys, final pack. We have yet to pull any cards we want, like uh, the red eyes, the new alternative red eyes, the blue eyes, of course, and Dark Magician Girl. Uh, and uh, obviously, Dark Magician should be in here, too, I would imagine. And I, honestly, I kind of want that that token card, that, the Kaiba token card as well. That'd be kind of cool. But anyway, let's see what we get. It only means we'll be opening more of these probably because uh, it's 400 cards. I, we still haven't really completed like the uh, the Rary collection because that, that was quite a bit of cards to collect too. But we got pretty decent in that binder. All right, here we go. We got the Sweet Roommate. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um, the Kan Yori Getsu, I think. The Geo of the Gravity and Ninja. The Immortal ben B Bushi. Moans the Mortal Bodies. Scarecrow D. Fag. Fag. Fragging. Fragging. <laughs> fanging. Yeah, I think that's what. <laughs> fanging. D. Fanging. Yeah. I, I know words. Maybe. Etude of the Branded. The, di the Digit Jammer. The Click and Echo. Uh, it got, it, it, if you guys remember that that um that dolphin video game back in Sega, Sega Genesis, Echo the Dolphin. Um, so yeah, I wonder if that's kind of based on that. The Tally Ho, the small scruffle, 
ultra rare of the Ursetic Polar Star. Ooh, this is, this is a good card. Uh, I did a fire ch channeler. I like this one. This might be alternative art. Looks like it. And ooh, this is actually a good card. I think. Uh, like at least it's a fan favorite for me because I'm a tune guy, and it kind of fits because we have two cards. <laughs> this is of course the Tomb Kingdom. Not as high as I thought, but still decent at four dollars and fifty cents. So we didn't pull anything too fantastic this pull session. But, but, I got a lot more of these. I definitely do. And, I'm, and I'm, I'm like nowhere near completing this collection. And obviously, I want to do a verse of this. I want to do some more like pack openings of this. Might maybe in like wood pack pulls as well. So, uh, uh, obviously, from the intro, as I mentioned, if you guys want to win a copy of your own tin, maybe there's a Dark Future Girl in here. Maybe. Go ahead and press a like, subscribe to this channel, and of course, leave a comment of your favorite protagonist. Maybe an antagonist, I don't know. Your favorite character, I guess. I, I, I like ex expanding the questions. <laughs> but yeah, basically your favorite character from Yu-Gi-Oh! series. Now, it doesn't have to be earlier gens, it could be any generations, even those that I might not even watch yet. But leave, leave, leave that comment because I'm, I'm curious, you know, who's your favorite? For me, of course, is my boy, Seto Kaiba. He's always been my favorite. If you guys want to see a previous 10 that I did, definitely check out this video right over here. We're opening up last year's 10. And that was actually pretty damn happy too. Like, obviously they had a promo card, which is probably the only thing that's really better about the last year's set compared to this set. But, but yeah, you guys let me know in the comments down below what your favorite was. I'm Stavos. Peace.